Hello, and welcome to Factorio. I thought I'd uh, play through the newest version, uh, which is point fifteen. I haven't played for quite some time. Uh, it's actually up to point twenty-seven of point fifteen. Uh, I keep making a bunch of changes. Not all of them I'm even familiar with. The big one is uh, uranium and nuclear power, but uh, I thought I'd jump in kind of cold and uh, just see how it goes. Uh, so I do have a couple mods, uh, one of which is Tree Collision, uh, just because you probably don't want to watch me just bumping into trees. Um, and I do that a lot, because apparently it's hard to walk in this game. Um, I also have a lighting mod, just to lighten things up a little bit. Um, typically I won't play with this, but it's not like a huge game changer. It just makes it a tiny bit easier to get around, so that also, as a viewer, you uh, don't find this a frustrating let's play experience. Alright, so we're gonna start a new game. Um, I kinda was looking at all of these ones and I like them, but I really want to try Real World because it's a lot like the RSO mod, which um, basically was a mod intended to allow you to uh, take advantage of train systems because um, they spread out the resources more. Uh, also, they added a little extra feature where biters won't create any new bases or expand into already cleared territory, which can be a little frustrating with RSO, because um, I think somehow it was turned up a little bit so that biters would over-expand. But uh, anyways, that's from a long time ago. And maybe I tweaked some settings that weren't fun. Uh, it, it was kind of neat, but biters aren't really the main reason to play this game. All right, so I pretty much go with gonna go with all default here, but I want to set water up a little bit just to have a more interesting set of geography to play with. Um, other than that, I am going to generate with these settings. We'll see how this one looks. All right, um, got some coal, stone. Everything's pretty spread out here. I see there's like a big lake up here, but you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna restart start this one. Let's see if I can get something that looks a little more interesting. Oh, giant forest and all my minerals are buried. That's kind of neat, but you know what? I want something a little more fun. And this is kind of meshed together. Stone's way down here, so we're going to go with this. A uh, little bit of trees. That's okay. I'm going to start with the iron right away, even though I don't have any fuel for it yet get some. Oh, let's make a pick. Those picks are kind of a useful sort of a thing. Too cool. Because they're racing close, I'm just going to dump this in there right away. Let's go back and get some more coal. Now, one change that they've made, I don't know when, maybe ages ago, is uh, that you can actually break open these rock chunks like the one I'm mining right underneath of. They're not super fast, but they're kind of nice because it means that in order to immediately jump into that stone patch to the south to get some uh, stone furnaces. So instead, I'm just gonna stick around here and manually load this up. And I should be able to get coal mining automated like within the next couple seconds here. I know there's really fast let's plays and speeds, speed runs now, but uh, it's been quite some time, so I'm going to make lots of noobish mistakes as I relearn the game. And I'm, there's a lot of new things here for me, but uh, I think it's still going to be fun to sort of stumble around a little bit. Uh, yeah. Now as a viewer, I uh, would encourage you to uh, tell me what I'm doing wrong and uh, what you think I should do differently in terms of my setups. Because I uh, do have some, what I feel like, were good setups in an original game, but that's all changed quite a bit with uh, the new patches, and I'm sure there's more optimal ways to do things. Like right now, I'm just aiming these guys at each other. I can't imagine how that could get more efficient for just like really early coal mining, but uh, you never know. And I'm also going to 
need a bit of wood because I'm going to go down and set some automated uh, stone. Even though I only got five coal, I just need like a tiny bit of stone incoming to keep up with my initial demand before I hit electricity. And I'm going to go electricity pretty quick. I don't like to stay in the burner inserter phase long at all. All right, so let's make a couple of those. Pop this down here. Turn it the right way. Fourth try is the charm, right? And there we go. Done. I'm back in five minutes to check on you. Ooh, this sight bubble is uh, quite a bit bigger than I thought it would be, but that's all right makes it like basically daylight unless I'm zoomed out. I also kind of need to maybe stick with a level of zoom so that it's not jarring. I don't know, maybe maybe that's fine, zooming in and out, but it seems like perhaps a viewer could get a little frustrated with that. It's something I haven't really paid attention to when watching other streams, but I imagine there's like certain... Uh, modes or uh, little cultural things that streamers do to accommodate their viewers that I need to actually pay attention to. I don't need a chest there. I'm not going to use burner inserters. Alright, let's uh, upgrade our iron. Basically, we're just going to repeat this same cycle where I'm upgrading my uh, manual burner um, mining drills for a little bit. But I really want to move past this phase as soon as possible. So uh, to do that, though, primarily it looks like I need stone to build pipes. And then steam engines are the same. They just need lots of iron. So let's get more iron. But before I can get more iron, I'm going to need more of that delicious stone. There's a couple little outcrops way over there. But... Uh, I'm just going to pop back down here and upgrade to my uh, stone production. Let's uh, refresh this. That was pretty much perfect timing. I'm also going to switch modes using the Alt key so I can see what's inside these things. That's good. Uh, so let's... Two, three... You know what? I'm just going to build all nine of those should have enough metal up here to kind of get this going. Two more. Uh, three more. Let's, uh, let's do this. Probably coal will be the next piece of infrastructure. All right. Hopefully, before I need to upgrade that again, we are going to be in the next phase. I just need to actually get enough coal to uh, link this. I'm going to make this a little love circle. Let's uh, get it going right away. Okay, spread around our coal. Doop, splitting stacks. Ugh. I should probably have done that coal a little earlier to keep up with this, uh, but that's all right. Okay, so uh, one steam engine, one boiler, we should be able to get some power lines because I've got copper, so five power lines, one set of those, and then five more of those guys. And you are out, hey? Okay. Let's pop down here to our water. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to build an electric mining drill. Ooh, crap. I need to get some more iron because I forgot to build a offshore pump to get water. pump and another mining drill. 
so toss you right there. This is, of course, all temporary. And I just want one spot so I can walk through it. Oh, wow, this is supremely different. What the heck? Okay, I'm going to assume that this will just work. Will it? Um, I need to test. Oh, I can't test that out. Uh, anything else electrical? No, so I have to basically hook this up. Okay. Uh, so let's... immediately jump into coal production. Oops, too far. Tube and one, two, okay. Now we'll take these two drills. I'm just gonna point them at each other. Iron chest. So that did not work. Oh, that would probably help if I actually had not screwed up these somehow. Yeah, okay. That is I'm not sure how I did that actually. I thought it was automated. Okay, is that working? No. Why is that not working? So it's not getting enough power somehow because something here is screwed up. So there's an output here. What is it output? Um, salt? Cotton? What is that? Oh, it's outputting steam. Hmm. Okay. Uh, how do I deal with that steam output? This is uh, an uncertain thing. Do I, like, what do I do with the steam? Okay, I'm gonna have to do a little bit of research. I mean, cause, I mean, I can manually fire that steam into there. Oh, this is pumping water. I want the steam as power, gotcha. So, uh, basically this has to go like this. And I need to plug that in. And that has to be powered? Oh, that's right, it needs coal. Okay. Well, that is uh, pretty cool. I wonder why there's two. Uh, maybe excess water is gonna be needed to manage the steam powered or something. Or, um, Burns fuel to heat fluids, produces uh, steam at a temperature of 165 Celsius. I wonder if you can, hmm. interesting. Okay, and there they are, plowing away. Electricity up. Okay, let's just build a whole bunch of those guys. Get our circuits, clear up. That. Actually, we can peel these off because we don't need these anymore. Oh, we do need a pick though. Oh, that's a little annoying. So I'm going to cancel those. Okay, now let's do that. Of course, your pickaxe runs out right when you don't need it to, so maybe I'll build a spare one. Alright. Let's and get that sort of started and fill up these guys. This will be the next part of my industry. So I need to uh, get this uh, off the ground in terms of production of automated steel. Alright, but before that can happen, I need to probably get a more permanent electrical setup. Oh, and I did not bring any coal with me on this trip. 
I hope this is going to be enough. 88, so... Let's build 10. Their boilers is pretty neat, actually. They look good. The aesthetic of this game is something I've always really enjoyed. It's not really steampunk, it's like future punk. I'm not sure exactly what they're going for, but it's hyper-industrial. Man, that smoke animation looks way better than it used to. A little puff puff. Okay. Anyways, I think that's going to do it for the first episode. Um, meager starting. But, uh, yeah. Uh, next episode, we'll uh, focus a little more on actually getting some automation up. Thank you for joining me for this first uh, Factorio episode. See you next time.